Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to another Zoof Skills Fishing video. Uh, guys, I was just editing a video for you guys called uh, Blue Lagoon Afternoon Session, New Species Hooked on Lua. It was such an amazing session it was. It was a very short session. But yeah guys, remember I told you I want to catch at least two more species before the end of the year. But you need to check that video out. It most likely will be the video before this video. Because I'm going to obviously upload them in the, the correct order. But guys, while I'm editing the video, I've got some good news. So I've placed an order with a company called Ghanis. Ghanis Angling World in Johannesburg. And I actually got a call from the courier company telling me that the order or the delivery is on its way. So I'm so excited about that. I'm going to pick it up. Guys, some unique stuff in there. Things that I haven't used before. And some stuff that you don't get anymore. They were like limited edition and now basically uh, the companies uh, closed down. You don't get this item anymore. Very strong equipment. So yeah, I can't wait to actually do that unboxing right now. So I'm just waiting for the couriers to come through, then we can have the package and we can get to it. So guys, we're back at the Zoof Skills uh, workstation. <laughs> this is where I've recently been doing my tutorials, my product reviews, my unboxing and so on. Found a nice niche, a nice corner. And yeah, um, so let's get straight into it, guys. So this order once again is from Ghani's Angling World. Um, I thought they were based in Johannesburg, but they're actually based in uh, Bird Bank. So uh, I will put the information in the description below regarding the address and so on. I placed the order about two days ago, two nights ago, and I actually got it today. So that's like just over 24 hours. But yeah, it was uh, it was quick. Nothing was damaged or anything like that. So guys, basically this order is supposed to total to about one thousand nine hundred seventy-seven and with with the courier service. But I actually got much more value than that, and I'm going to explain that now. So I'm going to go over the bigger items first. So you guys have seen the package, or well, you haven't seen the package actually. But basically, it was a large package. And uh, the first item that came in the package was a uh, bait casting rod. So it's a Bass Hunter BH702 CAMH. So obviously, uh, CA stands for casting, MH stands for medium heavy. Now, guys, this is not the item that I actually wanted. Um, I actually purchased um, or online, I selected a product uh, brand called Predator, and it was the complex rod, K O M P L E X. Uh, it was a 6 foot 8 rod. And it was actually uh, worth about 389 rand. But a uh, guy by the name of Ismail uh, contacted me. So guys, if you ever deal with Ghanis, uh when you phone them, ask for Ismail. He's very helpful. He will assist you. So what, uh, so what uh, Ismail did was from Ghanis. He did call me and say, look, are we out of that rod? You're out of stock. Um, but for the inconvenience, because you placed an order and made the payment and stuff, we do have something of a similar, in a similar uh, range or serves a similar purpose that has similar specs it's a bit more expensive but don't worry about it um, we will cover the difference would you be interested in it so i went to the website did my research and i'm like okay i find you know, it actually seems like a very good rod so this is actually a seven foot rod that's what the seven zero stands for bh is obviously bass hunter so let's go over that again bass hunter 702 stands for seven foot uh, casting a uh, two-piece casting ca and medium heavy so yeah let's go through it very quickly guys uh it has a uh, eight eyelets as we call them eyes or line guides um comes in a very nice strong durable uh travel bag or travel i'll say sheath and yeah here we go so guys firstly off the bat this rod seems very sturdy very very sturdy it's like heavier than most of my rods that i have i won't say heavier but it feels a bit more firm not heavier but firm and i like the fact that it's open here so you can actually touch the rod the the blank of the rod for sensitivity and yeah so when you're actually holding your rod when you're holding the rod your finger is actually touching that area so you can just get that sensitivity in regards to bites and so on so it does come with the eva EVA uh, foam. Uh, it has a split grip at the bottom. It has a trigger, 
Chiga grip as well. Sorry, it's a Chiga handle. Um, it has a bait keeper as well, which is awesome. Bass hunt, there you go. Uh, very strong rod, guys. Oh, there's a price here. So this is actually, the rod I placed an order for was uh, 389 and this is actually 553 rand. And I'm not, I'm not sure if you can see that, 82 cents. Right, yeah, so, it's, so that's the sticker that's on this rod. And it's for this rod, as I can see, because the specs are there. So guys, over 100 rand worth of savings I got there. So that's the back of the rod, or I'll say the bottom part, two-piece rod. And uh, it has AI or line guides, as I did indicate. Apologies for the alarm in the background there. Yeah, guys. And yeah, it has eight eye and, and it comes and, and it tapers down to a very thin tip. So it's a very sensitive but strong tip. So I would say this is a uh, this is based on it. Okay, yes, so it uh, seems to be a moderate tip or medium. I won't say slow, I won't say fast, I say it's in between. So awesome guys, that's a uh, quite nice rod, it's quite sturdy, I can actually feel it, like it's very firm. I might even use this for salt water, you never know. Because guys, I, I like uh, casting salt water, I actually started doing that a long time ago. And uh, most of my buddies also, uh, who are fish frequently, they also do that as well. They, we, we like to use casting, great casting equipment in salt water. So we always want to look out for some good, powerful, strong equipment. I can obviously stand the true test in salt water. But yeah, guys, I'm really impressed with that rod. I actually got more than what I bargained for, which is awesome. And the reason I wanted the Predator Complex rod that I saw on the website is because of the a bait casting reel, which is the Predator reel. So it's a bait casting reel. There, there we go, guys. Here's the box. It's a Predator BC200. There's no reviews or anything about this rod online. The only thing I did come across is another YouTuber, a South African guy, who purchased this uh, bed casting reel. He did a very quick overview of it. So I'm, I'm going to do the same, but I'll obviously use this um, reel and uh, I'll give you some feedback and stuff as time goes on. So it's called the Predator BC200, so it's a 200 size. There's the schematics here on the box. And this is also basically the parts list. So you can obviously understand how to put it together and take it apart. It doesn't come with a pouch or anything like that. Okay, comes in this plastic. It's quite strong, so obviously helps with transportation. Guys, I can immediately see there's a lot of like oil or I don't know what this is. Like some bunk on this. Maybe the sun gave them out. I think they greased it before they sent it, or I'm not, I'm not sure. But if they did, then that's a good sign. They basically, you know you're doing us a service but guys it shouldn't be leaking like this okay but yeah all right awesome there we go that's the filter with casting let me just go over it very quickly with you guys so let's see guys it has these old school uh rubber eyes but they're very soft very nice to the touch uh grips uh no screws on the end there. Guys, it's a very small, or I'll say short, short handle. But this reel feels very firm, like very steady, very strong. It'll, it'll go very well with that rod because uh, the, it'll counterbalance each other. So that's good. Let's see if it has a that's clicking drag. Awesome. Uh, oh, wow. So the spool tension is not good at all. It just feels, doesn't feel right. And doesn't click. Let's have a look at it quickly. Maybe I'll change out this. Spool tension knob. This is well greased as you can see. And it has some sort of washer in there but yeah the thing is i just don't like how it feels the thing else about the rod is firm and sturdy uh, 
Okay, so as you can see guys, it has a lot of play. Right hand is very strong, not actually moving. But the moment you kick it down, it has this loose effect to it. I think maybe it's missing the spring, no, it's not missing the spring. It is designed that way. Okay, guys, this is not a high end reel, right? It's a uh, there it says Pelitzer, it's a BC200, firm reel. Let's see, it's, it's fully greased, guys. Okay. That's it on three spool, not bad. Let's just tighten up this pull tension here, let's try. Almost there. Okay, so let's put tension on tight. Okay. So, guys, it's, it's been fully greased. I think they, they grease the reels before they send it out to you. But yeah, it looks very nice. It's not a low profile or that low. You can see. Right. But another thing I noticed as well, but just looking at it, let me check. Yeah, just one thumb space. So guys, it's a very narrow spool. Not I'm not talking about shallow or deep, it is quite deep. I, I won't even say it's that deep, it's, it's medium average but it's a very narrow spool so that will help with casting distance i know for a fact and uh, yeah of course guys you need to dial this in very efficiently because if you don't you have bird nest it's very hard to remove a bird nest with sort of the space to move i'm gonna use the salt water guys i'm gonna use it with bread so it's very sturdy that's the one thing i like about it and it's a uh, five plus one ball bearing so yeah Aluminium spool. Let's go over the specs quick. Uh, it says uh, 5 plus 1 stainless steel ball bearing, so that's good for salt water. Double handle, okay, that's standard on most quick casting reels. Aluminium spool, okay, that's awesome. Low profile design. Mm. Okay, I wouldn't uh, say I agree with that. One way clutch, okay, we did check that, it is one way. Magnetic braking system, so I believe it has five magnetic brakes and the six two to one. So this is like more for my jug baits and stuff like that, and it'll work perfectly. Uh, takes 12 pound 120 yards, 15 pound 100 yards, and 18 pounds 80 yards. Hmm, interesting. So I think I'll put 100 yards of 15 pound brake, that would be perfect. I'm gonna travel, travel before 120 yards, yeah. I use that in salt water, so I'll just change my leader to a heavier leader, like fluorocarbon on an FG, not in stuff like that. Yeah, so that's awesome. So guys, I'm going to pair this up with the Bass Hunter, see how it works. If not, I'll use it on another rod called Sensation Silhouette, which I've been using for a while now in salt water, and it's done me some good service, proved itself. So yeah, so, so then guys, that's the rod, that's the reel. I also got a couple of lures, all these lures are from one company. Uh, so I'm just gonna go over that real quick. I'm just gonna reel away back to this packaging. Okay. Uh, not too shabby there. Eh? So guys, this reel actually cost uh, 540 bucks for entry level reel. That's not bad. I have another entry level reel which I bought from another company that served me well. I actually got it. Still, it's still serving me well. So yeah, guys, you never know something entry level product. Really help you. So the next type of kind of products I purchased were lures. So I really need to stack up, uh, stock up on my can baits, but lipless and also uh, lips. So I got myself these guys. So I got three different type of colors, two different types of designs. So uh, guys, these are the Rapala cranking wraps. Uh, they swim nine to 10 feet. Uh, they're six centimeters. Weigh 14 grams, which is half an ounce. Which is good for casting. So the first one I got is uh, the color, I believe is Helsinki. Let me just confirm. Helsinki Shad, there we go. Helsinki Shad. Um, the next one is Melon Shad. So I think shad is kind of like a sexy shad. It has that blue, metallic blue top uh, so coming down to silver sides. 
it has a chartreuse line with the black spots uh, the melon shad basically is black on the top coming down into a green a black spot and it has a red chin and white underbelly so I bought this more for like to throw underneath uh, overhanging branches and so on and so forth and just past glass lines because those colors tend to stick out and then the last one is a crawfish or crawdad uh, design which is a uh, green crawdad so guys it doesn't look green anyway but yeah it's called green crawdad it has a nice 3d eye to it so guys these were these are marked at 119 then 18 cents but i actually paid 59 then 59 cents for them i think they were marked down so it's more than 60 years, I'll say almost 70 and savings on each of these. So I didn't pay this price for them. If you go on the website, I'm not sure if the price has changed, but I actually got them at that price. So yeah, guys, you're getting great man, uh, value for money. 60 bucks each for Rapalas, and not just any Rapalas, cranking wraps. So that's amazing, guys. Go check, go check out the website, Danny's uh, Angling Worth. Place your order. Right, then the next type of I did purchase and these were basically the, the Parla Ripping Wraps I really need to stock up I really seriously need to stock up on my lipless cranks I don't have many And this I can use in salt and fresh guys So that's why I purchased this in this size This is the 6 size or number 6 size I think it's RPR6 Yeah So it's a variable uh, depth It's dependent on you It's 6 centimeters in length uh, 14 grams half an ounce loud rattling so this will get you a lot of attraction hard vibration that so this is basically a reaction bait it's an, it's an inside reaction from the fish and that's what i want especially in like muddy water or when i'm casting rag out against the sandbank and fish are patrolling the sandbank and they don't mind turning to go and stock prey so for bait fish whatever it is so guys this is when fish are in the predatory mood and they're willing to eat and you just need something to grab their attention Trust me guys, I've used a little tank bait in the harbor, Devon Harbor, uh, to good effects. I've actually lost some huge fish on them because uh, like I'm, I'm, when I first started using um, lipless tank baits, I didn't, didn't really know how to retrieve it. Like you had to retrieve it very quick when you have a fish on because you could spit it up. So I would try and play the fish and stuff, not try not to lose it. In the, I'll lose the fish not realizing that we have to use a different retrieve when it comes to this type of bait but yeah guys I had to buy these these are in the most natural colors possible that I could see on the website so this is a chrome it's actually called chrome yeah so it's a uh, chrome it says 136 and 19 for 158 and 93 and 136 and 19 but guys I paid 105 bucks for, for this so I actually saved a lot of money on them guys need to check out the website stuff are like going very cheap right now so this is the chrome color it has a black top it has like an orange lip and chrome down the sides and the underbelly is chrome and has a black spot on each side and something similar to it the color is called halloween uh it has it has sparkles on it i'm sure you can see it on the screen there or flake in it and that's like in the Oh, I don't know what to call this color, but it's like brownish gold with a green finish. Brown gold and it has like a green tinge to it. And it actually comes down towards like a dark green on the sides. Then it turns to chrome. It has a slight line of white just before the underbelly and the underbelly and the lip is actually a yellow, like a neon yellow, sorry, orange. Neon orange. Yeah, so wow, that's nice, guys. This is like I don't know how to describe this color, but it's almost like yeah, it's like like a brown gold coming I mean, turning into a green. So, yeah, awesome stuff. I need to use this one as well. So yeah, then the last one I got, guys, is uh, I believe moss back chrome moss back china. So this is basically a metallic color. It's like a brownish green on the top coming down to blue and the underbelly is a faded white so yeah 
awesome these are the ripping wraps i got half ounce good casting distance out here on these yeah then guys obviously you know i i fish out the light and uh, try to knock as many species as possible so i went for the ultra light range as you can see here it says ultra lights ultra lights so i then went for the ultra light range so i'll go over each of these with you now and these are the last items i purchased so these are four items from the ultra light range but the two different types so here we go we have the Rapala Finesse Sinking Ripping Wraps and we have the Rapala Finesse Sinking Ultra Light Minnows so these are jug baits or jug minnows so guys one of them is glow in the dark one of them is UV bright so I obviously made sure I get different color patterns and color types to obviously you know cover all bases so sorry guys the camera didn't see that one put directly there but I'll go over all of them with you very quickly so let's do this real quick guys once again, these are the Rapala Ultralight Minnows. Finesse sinking, uh, 2 to 3 meters, 4 centimeters, 1 8 ounce. It's perfect for my Ultralight setup. Uh, yeah, they say 134 and 32 cents, but I paid 105 bucks for each of them. So 136 cents, 19, 134 and 32 cents, I paid 105 bucks for each of them. Okay, awesome guys. This is basically the color is uh, carbon. So it's like black on the top comes down to a dark green and then that leads to the bottom being orange at the head or the chin and the tail like it's black on the top feeding to a dark green but the dark green still has some black in it and it has a metallic shine which you can see there i'm showing camera awesome so that's carbon the next one i got was uh, army green uv this one it looks so cool it has a matte finish guys uh it's green army green of course and then the underbelly right to the chin from the tail to the chin or from the chin to the tail is uh it has a uv bright orange on it so yeah awesome then we have the i'm excited about these ones as well uh, the ultra light ripping wraps so they're basically the, the same as the previous lower that i went over so these are the looking wrap six these are the ultra light so you can see the variance of the size difference yeah so guys with these ones i got a glow in the dark it's basically called glow it's full white which is glow in the dark and has a chartreuse uh, head and then this one is called the pearl gray shiner uh, it's like a silver gray to the sides and on the top it has like an olive color and a black spot and the belly is white as well yeah so guys these are 116 ounce 3 centimeters be perfect and, and the distance oh, sorry the diving depth and all of these so on these ones it's variable on both the uh, ripping wraps it's variable it's dependent on you but the swimming depth on the tank baits and the uh, ultra light uh, minnows those are obviously depicted on the packaging so yeah guys, those are the items I purchased from Bunny. I'm really impressed uh, with the fact that I saved so much money on these products and that they're willing to actually give me something better because they do not have stock of an item. And yeah, it's not the first time I've purchased from them. I've purchased about a year back from them as well and I had no issues. And, while, and at that time as well too guys, I purchased a rod that you don't really get anymore. It's made of neocarbon, very strong and light rod and yeah. So guys, if you ever want to do business with Ghanis, you place your order, um, they'll send you an invoice, they'll communicate with you as well, and then um, what you can do is, um, you can then make an EFT something, or you can go to a bank or cash deposit, and uh, they'll send you an order through the courier service. So guys, uh, I speak to Ismail at the store, he's the one who helps me, um, I don't know why it works out that way, ever since my first order, I ended up with Ismail. That's where he does the invoices and stuff. So when you communicate with Ismail, that guy is a very friendly service. The guys are cool. When you phone them, they always answer the, answer the calls, always willing to help and so on. I'm going to put the details down below in the description. So you can obviously contact them. I believe they're based in Bank. So yeah, guys, thank you so much. If you want to see more unboxing, more products, uh, more product reviews and so on and so forth, please stay tuned. And yeah, 
thanks so much for supporting the channel and tight lines.